Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am French Shy Pierce, and I welcome again to my channel. It is Sunday. Happy Sunday. The day the Lord has made, and let us be glad in it. October 20th. October 20th of 2024. 7.55 in the a.m. Bright, sunny day here in Chicago. I haven't checked the weather, but probably going to be about 60 degrees, so I'll take that. As... Times and seasons change and the leaves fall off the trees. We know what's coming. We know what's coming. And we have exactly, what, 15 days before folks go into the ballot box. People, suppose I told you it's all a clown show. That it's all a clown show that for a very long, 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 long time, we have been in a cinema, a theater, a movie, an act, a play. And there are just characters on this earth in relation to a power grab and an agenda. The agenda is a one world system, United Nations, but it has to be formatted. The agenda started once Satan was hurled from heaven, Luke 10, 18. Well, today is Kamala Harris' birthday. Kamala Harris' birthday. The VP, Democratic nominee, first female, right? For President of the United States. Kamala means lotus flower. Out of the lotus flower comes the sun god Ra. That is the reason, along with Akhenaten, these pharaohs of Egypt, along with a few other gods, like a couple thousand, maybe a hundred thousand, who knows? These serpent children, they don't look at time the way we look at it. We look at 100 years as a long time. That's a second to them. So they're patient as they format things. It's a clown show. I find it fitting that Donald J. Trump is going to a Pittsburgh football game today. And he's also going to go by a McDonald's. You know, McDonald's got a clown. His name is Ronald. Ronald. And we call the Donald the Donald. What if I told you I believe they've been playing this clown show, this cinema thing, for a long time, and then it was planned all the way to this moment and a little bit beyond until the day that this clown meets his demise. That is, this clown becomes unalive. So this morning I want to take you on a voyage because this is in part about Donald J. Trump, Kamala Harris, McDonald's, but it's about the 44 and the 84. I've long said that I've quoted and made reference to Barack Obama being the 44th president, that he was born on August 4th. You know, people, I am uh, doing decodes daily, as you well know. And I have been teaching lately that the 44 and 84, like 44th president and Barack, and Barack Obama being the, born on August 4th, this is a system of things equally to a person who allegedly is supposed to be the Antichrist. The system was calling for a man. It was calling for an image. So to me, it's not coincidence that his birthday is August 4th. Know that he's the 44th president because the more I decode, the more I realize that the 84 and the 44 have always been there in their 
numerical dastardly scheme. And he had to fit those shoes. Thus the alleged birth certificate issue back in the day brought on by Donald J. Trump. I hope you see it. So let's begin. We have Ray Kroc. This man bought McDonald's from the McDonald's brothers. Okay. His birthday is October 5th, 1902. His death date is January 14th, 1984. The 84, there it is, right? Man, the 1984 has a way of popping up, doesn't it? Raymond Al Albert Kroc was an American businessman. He purchased the fast food company McDonald's in 1961 from the McDonald's brothers and was, and was its CEO from 1967 to 1973. Kroc is credited with the global expansion of McDonald's, turning it into the most successful fast food corporation in the world by revenue. Out of Oak Park, Illinois, of which I didn't live too far from there back in the day. I lived in Forest Park back in the day, not too far from there. So yeah, this is the Giants, Ray Kroc. And Ray Kroc in Jamacha comes out to 44. Isn't that amazing? Ray Kroc. And if you break down his name, Ray is 44 and Kroc is 47. 44 like Barack Obama was the 44th president and 47 like Trump or Kamala trying to be the 47th president. Isn't this interesting? Isn't it interesting that we're finding out more and more that life is scripted, these major events are scripted all the way back in time and they connect today. Yeah, they're connected, baby, they're connected. I might add that um, Ray Kroc, yeah, 44 and um, I'm gonna throw this in the mix. His death date of 10-5-2024 versus Trump's birthday, just had 6-14 of 2024. The difference is three months and three weeks. 33, like 33 degree Mason, Masonic. And would you believe that Ray Kroc died at 81 years old? Joe Biden's 81 years old. Interesting. It's all relevant, people. Trust me, it's all relevant. It's all relevant. Now let's begin. About five years ago, well, longer than that, actually. Uh, no, about five years ago, Inside Edition did this. If I get a, um, if I get flagged on this, this won't show, but I think this will be okay. Inside Edition did a part showing uh, the Clemson Tigers feasting on McDonald's and other fast food food at the White House when Donald Trump was president. Watch this here. It's the fast food feast the whole country is talking about. Served by President... Ellen Rosenfeld will say no more to... We'll let that pass. Sorry about that. And then we'll start over. Why would you buy? Okay. It's the fast food feast the whole country is talking about. Served by President Trump at the White House for the national champion Clemson University football team. We have pizzas, we have 300 hamburgers, many, many french fries. Piled high on silver platters in the East Room was fast food from three iconic American companies. Wendy's. Burger King and McDonald's. At another table, Domino's Pizza and French fries served in paper cups with the presidential seal. This Clemson player couldn't believe it. The rumors were true. <laughs> this player loaded up all the goodies he could carry. 
The McDonald's order of all those Big Macs and filet of fish was taken by this McDonald's just blocks from the White House. We spoke to owner Carlos Mateos. I believe they had 350 to 400 burgers. Uh, they had some nuggets in there, a lot of nuggets in there as well. And then uh, some side salads. Trump said... Oh, yeah. And just so you guys know, I might do a video in the future. There are images people believe Those are true. <laughs> inside this Wendy's. There are, there are images in that face, allegedly, people say. So let's move on. Here's one of those iconic pictures. But I want you to notice something. He's standing below Lincoln. He's standing below Lincoln. What happened to Lincoln back in the day? Didn't he become unalive? That's not coincidence, people. It's projecting, it's speaking to the future, as far as I'm concerned. Now, this is another depiction from the clown show. Snoop Dogg, bad, bad, not good, lavender, nightfall. Notice this license plate. Okay. That's uh, two PC one two two four. Unless that's a Z. I decoded it as a Z. Okay, but I'm gonna put all that in the description. But either way, about that. But what I want you to see is. This depicts a clown straight from the beginning. I'm not gonna play the video, but what I want you to see is that this is Donald Trump, okay? A depiction of Donald Trump. Let me get, get this commercial out the way, we'll go from there. Okay, so good, it went straight there. So now we see the clown Trump depicted in here. And what happens to the clown Trump? The clown Trump is taken out by a police officer. You see that. And then eventually, a black man clown is taking a photograph as the officer slays him. Do you see? He's in the car and boom, the clown meets his demise. They've been trying to tell this story to us. This video is from March 12th of 2017. When I tie it all together in the numbers, it's gonna blow your mind. The Clown Show. Here's the video called Lavender. Look at the date. 312 of 2017. 312, 2017, Snoop Dogg. And then you got, here's a man after my own heart, one of my first mentors. Only met him a few times here in Chicago. He ran for mayor, I believe twice here in Chicago. His name is Willie Wilson. I call him the honorable, legendary Willie Wilson. There he is at McDonald's. He was a McDonald's owner. And I met him through Meros, M-E-R-O-S, Meros McDonald's, uh, out in Medicine, Illinois. Um, there was a mall called Lincoln Mall Shopping Center. It's bulldozed down now, but that's why I met him at when he was working for a guy named Meros. Then later on, he got his own McDonald's and Willie was my mentor. I started at McDonald's uh, when I was like 17 myself. And there I am, flipping burgers. Yep, that's me. My mom knew Mr. Merrill, so she also knew a guy in, in Chicago. Uh, I think it was 74, 75th in Cottage Grove, Mr. Harrington. He gave me my first job um, at McDonald's. Someone from Mr. Harrigan on the south side of Chicago to um, 
Mr. Merrill's management out in Country Club Hills, he had a house out there. I mean, a, a mansion, and he owned several McDonald's, and that's why I met Mr. Willie Wilson. Shout out to him here in Chicago. And then I went to KFC, and I won the President's Award. That's me in Hawaii. So that's my fast food background. So we have Donald Trump saying he's going to flip some burgers. Actually, he's going to work the fry station. He's going to work the fry cooker. That's what he said. He's going to work the fry cooker. Fry cooker comes out to 46 in Gematria. 46 is when? What does that mean? 46 is destruction. George Floyd met his demise at 46. JFK, who Trump arguably emulates, he died at 46. JFK is, by, is died, he's buried, he's buried at Arlington National Cemetery, lot 45, which is Trump's, he was the 45th president. Is all this coincidence? People, all this is coordinated in my humble opinion. JFK died at 46 years old. George Floyd died at 46. George Orwell died at 46. Bo Biden died at 46, that's the president's son. 46 is not a good number. So Trump's going to work the fry cooker. That's 46. Not only that, you see 53 in reduction. 53 comes out to 222. And I told you 222, you know what that means. Let me look it up for you. 40, uh, 222 is not good. That's that, that's, that, um, that's that antichrist system, people. You know, this, this thing is serious. They're literally speaking and talking to us on a daily basis. They're telling us um, what's about to go down in the future. I thought I had that, but oh, here it is here. Here's your 222. Donald Trump Sr. 222. Seventh King Trump 222. The Beast System 222. Antichrist System 222. Look at that. This is the system. So are they speaking? Kamala Harris, President Kamala Harris, two, two, two. They all, they're all, they're all, it's two wings of one, one bird, people. Two, two, two. How come he couldn't work the fry station? How come he couldn't work salads? But he's at, he's working the fry cooker. Two, two, two. Okay, speaking. Let me hasten on. I told you it's a clown show. We saw lavender. I'm gonna show you all these numbers in a little bit. Now let's go here. You got every every celebrity and every politician. They're having a little verbal fist fight about who worked at McDonald's and who didn't. Now we got president, former President Clinton involved. They get everybody involved to keep us looking at stuff. But I'm here to interpret what's really going on for you. It's a show. It's a clown show. It's a literal clown show, and you got adults, former president of the United States, participating in a clown show. It's a clown show Come on, on Kamala Harris' birthday. So, and all this, to me, is all done deliberately, allegedly. Check it out. When she actually enters the White House as president, I'll be so happy when she actually enters the White House as president because she will break my record as the president who spent the most time at McDonald's. I'll be so now notice when they did that when she actually enters the White when House they did as president that, they focused on a black woman with what? With pearls on her neck. Or something on her neck, right? Like Kamala Harris. At the DNC, for which I was there. They playing with us. Here you go. Trump expected to attend Pittsburgh Steelers game, serve fries at McDonald's. Right? This came out a few days ago, October 18th. Now remember, like Luke 10, 18, and... Barack means lightning. 
and Luke 10, 18 talks about the lightning that is Satan being hurled out of the sky. Do you understand? It's all connected, allegedly, right? So they made this announcement, announcement on 10, 18, which allegedly is about Obama, the 84 and the 44. How fitting. Former, former President Trump is expected to be back in Pittsburgh this weekend for a rally. Uh, visit a McDonald's and attend a Pittsburgh Steelers game. Trump is hosting a rally in Westmoreland County at the Arnold Palmer Regional Airport in unity of Saturday. Trump is expected to speak about taming high inflation, curtailing illegal immigration, and boosting domestic energy production. Tickets can be found here. Uh, the, for the former president is also expected to visit McDonald's on Sunday and work the fry cooker. He's going to work the fry cooker. That's why I decoded it. According to a report from CNN, Trump is allegedly going to McDonald's to show how Kamala Harris exaggerated claims of working there. See how silly this is? There has to be no word of that McDonald's Trump's, what, what McDonald's Trump will visit. Anyway, the Trump is also expected to attend the Pittsburgh Silly game versus New York Jets. Okay, so that's what this is about. I should have decoded New York Jets, but I didn't. But we'll get into this here. Here's Abraham Lincoln. Like I said, what was Trump doing? Standing right beneath Abraham Lincoln, who was unalived. Okay? Okay, so here we go. President Abraham Lincoln, born February 12, 1809. He made his demise April 15, 1809. 65. We're going to tie all this together. And you got this here. Joe Biden, 2023. What happened? They had a Christmas gala bringing in the joy of which I told you the joy is the new system, the one world government, the sun God rock, the rising of this negative system. So allegedly what they did at the White House Last Christmas, they symbolically told us what was coming, the new, the new, the new government. So I've been breaking this thing down for, for a minute. But let me show you in this system, in this here, where they're going to show uh, President Lincoln, too. And allegedly, he's being unalive. Watch, you're going to see these ladies dancing. And there's gonna, then there's going to be another person who's going to catch something in their stomach. To me, it's a... B-U-L-L-E-T, B-U-L-L-E-T. I'm going to put it on super slow-mo because I want you to see it, okay? I guess this is it here, uh, normal. Uh, let's see what happens. That's fast, so we'll get it right. Play speed. Let's go here. Here we go. Watch this. Now they're gonna, they're gonna, boot, they're gonna push their hips. Watch them push their hips. Watch this. Playing the guitar, like he's Elvis or something. And then what? They're gonna gyrate their hips. Boom. And he catches it. See? Catches it. What did he catch? Or she catch? To me, they caught a B U L L E T. Watch this. They're gonna catch something. Hips gyrate and boom, pow, catches it and boom, there's Lincoln right there. There's Lincoln, it's deep, it's deep. To me they told us right there, watch. Playing the guitar, red and gold, rock colors, sun god, hips gyrate, the Nabu B U L L E T, boom, catches it. And then there's Lincoln right there. Just like you had Lincoln above him. Whether you agree or not, hey, I'm telling you what I think. Now let's go forward. McDonald's Corporation was founded April 15, 1955. 
However, in 1940, that's when the McDonald's brothers really founded it, May 15, 1940, okay? So Corporation founded it April 15, 1955. What else we got here? I just happened to look at McDonald's stock. Look at it. It said 316.56. Does 316 ring a bell? Is that coincidence like John 316? Right? The sacrifice that Jesus made, hallelujah, 316. What are the odds? Wow. Is the spirit realm speaking to us? The stock is 316. The sacrifice. The sacrifice. Lincoln, was he not sacrificed? Will Trump, will he become unalived and sacrificed? Will America not be, will America be sacrificed so we can join the one world system? It's deep, y'all. Check this out. He's going to the Pittsburgh Steelers game today. Trump is. Founded July 8th, 1933. 1933. And then, what if I told you that the first three out of five U.S. presidents, D.I.E., on July 4th, were John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and James Monroe. These three presidents, the first three out of five presidents, became unalive on July 4th. And I'm gonna show you if there's a connection today with this, July 4th, okay? Now, fry cooker, I already told you, 53 in Jamatra comes out to 222. We know that's the satanic system. 46 is chaos. You look at this here. 415 is what? That's when McDonald's was founded, right? Ray Kroc bought it, right? 415, 1955. There's Kamala Harris' birthday, 10-20, 2024. That's what this is all about. It's about the clown, and they're about the clown. So if you take 415 and make it 2024, the anniversary of Ray Kroc owning uh, of the, of the uh, corporation, the corporation of McDonald's, versus Kamala Harris' birthday of 10-20, 2024, the difference is 6-6, six, six, like the mark of the beast, six months and six days. Is that coincidence? Then look at this. McDonald's founded 415 by corporation versus Trump's birthday, 614. The difference is what? 60 days or eight weeks and four days. That's August 4th, Barack Obama's birthday. And the 60... Kamala Harris is 60 years old today. Her age, is that coincidence? Then look at this. The Pittsburgh Steelers were founded on July 8th, 1993, 1933, Pittsburgh, uh, versus, now check this out. If you take the 7th, 8th of 2024, the anniversary of the foundation, the founding of Pittsburgh Steelers, versus 415, the founding uh, of uh, McDonald's through the corporation. You subtract those dates, you still get 84 days. For April 15th versus July 8th, 84 days. The system, which matches Barack Obama's birthday. Is that coincidence? Then you take 7-8, Pittsburgh Steelers founding number versus Trump's birthday, 614. The difference is 24 days. In Roman numeral, what's 24? It's X. Will he become unalived? It's deep, y'all. Think about all the videos I've done and shown the X. Former Ray Kroc. Ray Kroc in Jamatra, I showed you. It comes out, comes out to what? His name alone comes out to what? 44. Look at that. Ray Kroc comes out to 44. Look at this system speaking to us. And he died at 81 years old. If you take his date of birth, Ray Kroc, 10-5, 2024, his anniversary, uh, was what his birthday was this month versus Trump's birthday 614 just had a birthday difference is 3 3 like Masonic and look at this here um this is when the McDonald's brothers really opened up McDonald's 5 15 1940 if you take uh if you take that date Versus Kamala Harris' birthday today of 10-20-2024. 20, 
you get 84 years. How is that possible? 84 years, 158 days, 84. Barack Obama was born August 4. That's the system of things. You see how they've been doing things allegedly over the years? There's the shares, $316. Then we got this here. The date of birth of Lincoln, 2-12-1809. If you take 2-12-2023 versus Kamala Harris' birthday, 10-20-2024, you get 88 weeks. Come on, man. Are you kidding me? What's Trump's text number? 88022. Then look at this. 415 is what? 415 is uh, McDonald's being founded by the corporation versus 10-20-24. That's Kamala Harris' birthday today. Difference is six months, six days. Oh, yeah. What else we got? Snoop Dogg laughing the video. What a clown is in there. Snoop Dogg. I showed you it already. The real clown. The clowning. When this video was produced, Lavender. Lavender. Like in the Purple Family. Phoenician. I think it's called Lavender by mistake. 3-12-2017 is when the clown was made. The video, all right? The reference to the clown. So let's look at it. 312 is Lavender, 2017, versus 312. Now check this out. If you graduate and make it 312, 2023, versus today's date, which is what? Kamala Harris' birthday, 1020, the difference is 84 weeks. Barack Obama was born what? August 4th. You take the 5-4, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the lavender plate. Watch this here. I showed you guys that earlier. We don't know if this plate is Z, or we don't know that it's, um, either way I'm gonna show you. I wanna show you the plate of the lavender. Oh, I did already, I forgot that. The lavender plate. Here it is here. If that's a Z, ZPC, if that plate is ZPC, Z is the 22nd letter of the alphabet, 16 is P, 3 is C, then 1, 2, 2, 4. Add it all up, it comes up to 54. That's April, that's March 5th to me. I'm sorry. May, May, May 4th to me. Look, the license plate comes out to, to number 54 equals 54. That's May 4th. Subtracted from what? 312 is the day that this video came out of Lavender. Look at the difference in the dates. May 4th, March 12th. The difference is July 4th. What did I tell you about July 4th? Remember I told you historically on July 4th, the first three out of five presidents lost their life. Ain't that deep? They were going against the system, allegedly. That's what history shows. They didn't like this one world system that was coming. Interpret it how you want to interpret it, but that's a fact, July 4th. Is it speaking? I'm not saying that's the day that's going to happen. What I'm saying is that people who rebel against this system, and that's what, that's what uh, Trump is doing in, in action, but it's two wings of the same bird. We got to push him. Like I said, it's a Moses moment. It's deep, y'all. Then look at this here. We got 312 Lavender uh, video came out versus Donald Trump's birthday, 614-2024. The difference is 94 days. 312, 614, 94 days. What is 94? 94th day of the year is April 4th. What is 44? Barack Obama was born April 4th. I mean, Barack Obama became the 44th president. Look at that. Three, 312, lavender video, 614, Trump's birthday. The difference is 94 days. The 94th day of the year is April 4th. Barack Obama became the 44th president. I know it's a lot, but people, this is a clown show. And they're going to have some fun today. And I wouldn't be surprised if the um, 
if the score at the Pittsburgh versus the Jets, uh, the number is symbolic. I'll break that down later on. But yeah, don't be surprised if the touchdown, the touchdown and certain events in the football game reflect something that has to do with this number. You're dealing with Barack Obama or Kamala Harris or Trump. Trust me, it will. The, even the score might be that. Uh, she's 60 years old. She's a 49th VP. Trump is 88. Trump is 78 years old. His text is 88. Barack Obama's the 44th president. Something's going to happen. Trust me with the numbers. Hope you liked the video. Please subscribe. Remember, make sure you subscribe every day. I do at least three videos. Thank you from the bottom of my heart supporting the channel. Just trying to get, keep people informed as to what's really going on on the planet. God bless.